Hello everybody, my name is Sage Lavender. This video is way overdue, so I apologize for that. So this is my video for my Wizard World Portland 2017 haul. So like it so um back in February I went to um Wizard World in Portland and um it it was good. It wasn't great. There wasn't a lot of vendors. There wasn't a lot of cosplayers. I saw a cosplayer there and there and like most of the people who make you know cosplay as a living in the contest but there wasn't a lot of like cosplay out there and I was like huh and I'm like and there wasn't as many vendors and like I saw a couple of people that have been there and they were like oh yeah there was like uh, usually like on fr like Friday is like the big day when everybody comes and it's like a zoo and there were more people but there wasn't a lot of people and I was wondering and I was kind of disappointed I was a little bit disappointed but but I did have fun and I bought a couple of things that I'll show you guys so I'm sorry that video this video is taking so long to get out but yeah so we'll do I'm gonna do the prints first and then we'll do the um, plushies in the t-shirt last so I went I think I actually do have a couple of cards for the artist too for some of them I got but yeah so here we'll do this guy because this guy has a card so um, I went to, I saw this guy, and this is Steven by Stephen Oaks, and so, um, I might take it out of the sleeve, but I went to him, and I was, like, looking around in the Artist Alley section, and then I saw this guy, and I'm like, ooh, that is really cool, it's a werewolf, so I got it, because I really like werewolves. Here, I'll take him out. This is really nicely designed. Um, this print... I should even get frame. I think this is, ooh, it's getting a little bit dented. That's not good. This print cost um, about $20. So even if it's out, so yeah. It's a little bit glary. Sorry about that. So there's that. And I'll show you the card. I need to get, like, frames for all of my prints that I have. Like, I have prints even from, like, Morricon. And I don't want to like ruin my prints by like hanging them on the wall and putting like push pins through them because I'm like I don't want to do that. That's just gonna ruin it. And so here's the card by Stephen Oaks. Um, Instagram.com Stephen o uh, Stephen Oaks Art Oaks Illustrations at Gmail.com. Uh, Cyrus. Sarista so I by on deviantart.com, facebook.com dot com slash uh, Stephen Oaks. So yeah, it's a little bit tiny car, but there it is. He got some some X uh, X Men going on, and then I don't know if you guys are gonna see that. I don't think it's gonna zoom in on that tiny little thing. Yeah, I'll make sure to put all the information that's on this car down below, in the description box below. If you wanna go check his art out, he has. A lot more art. I kind of regret not getting a print. It, it was like a mermaid and it looked like um, Ariel a little bit. Red hair and stuff like that. And I, sh I felt like I should have got that. He also had like DC related stuff. Like Harley Quinn, Joker and things like that. I was like more like in looking for Pacific stuff. Like anime related stuff. And a lot of people who did go last year. Like a lot of my friends who went last year to Israel said there was a lot of anime related stuff. And there was like not a lot of stuff. And not a lot of cosplay this year. I'm wondering maybe it's because it was such the freak, freakish winter storm we had. We had a really bad winter storm. So I'm wondering that prevented a lot of people from coming. So and then I went to this other guy and I got like eight prints from him. I don't think I have a card for him. But oh they have the little like logo set in the corners. So I got eight of them and the first four. Here's the first one I got. Uh, what's it called? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, um, the Last of Us. So I got La uh, Last of Us with. Uh, I can't remember their names, but heads up, they're making the uh, The Last of Us um, game too. And I believe this is like one of the, like I think one of the well. I uh, believe they got awards for like best thought, uh, best story game and. Um, best art and best um, graphic design and like and, like all that stuff. So there's that. I believe so. I believe like that game got a lot of awards for their art. And then for my second one, I got Dra Ra Ra. 
got Silty, um, Isaiah, uh, um, Simon, that guy I can remember, and the other guy, uh, other main characters. And I believe the arts people who have created all this art is by Tyron Griver and something wolf. I don't know. I'm going to look that up and put it down in the description box below. Because I know a lot of people are going to be like, see this and be like, I want that. And then the third print I got was Life is Strange and that is also a great game. Also, recently, knowing if this video was probably made back in February, but I wouldn't be able to announce that they're making a Life is Strange Season 2. Because it's kind of one of those games, it's kind of, there's a lot of talking and a lot of doing. There's a lot of doing, but it's most about, like, you know, talking to people, you know. Life is Strange was an absolute great game. I loved it. And they're making a second series. They haven't really announced a lot about it. I don't know if they're going to, because there's been a lot of debate about it, saying, like, do we continue off with um, Max Caulfield's story, or do we start a whole new story? And... I don't know, comment down below if you guys would want to see like a, a extension, like more, you know, like left off about what happens to Max after, because I'm like, that's going to be a lot of work, because I don't think they'll be doing that, I think they're going to do an entire new story, because that's, that's really hard to create a game of ice off all the choices that the other, uh, other, that entire game had, especially in the last episode, where it's like, if you haven't seen the game, spoiler alert, there's two endings, you either choose to kill Chloe, or you choose to let uh, Arcadia Bay uh, be destroyed by the uh, massive twister. So yeah. I really like this one. This is really cool. Um, like the design, like, and I like how this is blurred out right here. And like it looks like, it has like almost like a 3D effect to it. But yeah. So they're making a Life is Strange season two. So um, there's not a lot of information on it, but they did announce like, hey, there's a Life is Strange season two coming out. I'm like, huh. So I wonder if they'll be continuing off of Max Caulfield's story or sort of a new character. I kind of want to like see it continue off Max's Caulfield's story. But then again, I'm like, I kind of want to see something new because how they going to integrate all those other things that happened in the first game because there's so many choices and that's how's that effect are they just going to ignore all those choices and fake it and focus more on the last two choices but then that's going to be kind of hard because like in the end of the last game when you have like two decisions to make you their spoiler like i said kill um chloe or you sacrifice arcadia bay for chloe but yeah and then this fourth print i got was sami and Korra. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of like this way. But yeah, there they are. That is a really nice print. So yeah, do comment down below if you guys like what you guys expect to see. And let me put these guys back. These are like a relatively a good size. I believe like on um, these like for four, it costs like like four for forty. I think it was four for forty dollars for the first time, and then like, and then after that, after you bought like of them, it was like they were all like five dollars. So they were like ten dollars the first time, and then like after you bought like a bunch of them, they were like ten dollars, five dollars afterwards. I believe. I think that's what the guy said. I remember, but like I bought like eight of them, and then like these guys just don't want to go back. Come on. But yeah, they had a lot of good, um, a lot of good artists, um, at Wizard World. But yeah. So, oh. And then here's my fifth print I bought, which is Harley Quinn and, um, uh, Poison Ivy. There's that one. These are a really great size. They're about, like, I want to say... They're just a really good size, and the artwork is beautiful. I believe they were done by, like the guy said, he worked for multiple artists. So they must all work together, I guess, and then they must, like, um, have people that go to cons to sell their art. And then I got Yuri on Ice as my sixth print. 
I totally forgot. I, like most of these, like I haven't looked at these because they're in my closet in a binder, so they don't get ruined. Because I have nowhere to put them. I really want to frame a lot of these, like sing, uh, uh, sing, uh, by themselves. Because a lot of time, like people like go to Walmart and they get one of those big, huge frames, and then they put all the prints that they got from cons in them. And I'm like, nah, I want them to have their individual ones. That's an awesome print. Oh, I forgot I got the Tokyo Ghoul one. And I think like the last three are all anime related. So I got like four anime related ones and then I got like uh, two game ones and then two comic book ones. And then here is my seventh print. I got Tokyo Ghoul. I love Tokyo Ghoul. Heads up, there's um, third season is coming soon. I believe they said the third season is coming out in July, towards the end of July or early August. I don't know, but they said Oh, my foot's drying out. Um, they said that um, Tokyo Ghoul is coming out as uh, third season. So yeah, there's uh, Toka, there is um, Kaneki, I forgot this guy and this guy's name. He's the guy that makes all the masks. And then there's this guy. I, I feel like this guy is a ghoul. And I forgot his name. What? He came into my room because she was wondering what I was doing. So yeah. So yeah, there is that one. It's kind of hard to show these when they're not like this. But when they're like this, it's kind of hard to show. Like, on the camera, I mean. This is beautiful art. I wish I could draw like that. I do draw. I'm just recently starting to do, um... I forgot how much I like to draw, and I started recently, like, drawing my own characters. And I was at Hobby Lobby today, and I was, like, looking at, like, these super expensive, like, um, artist pens that, like, they draw all the anime characters. Those kind of pens that are, like, like $8 per pen. I want a pair, but then again, I'm like, I seen these on Amazon, and I can get like a whole set for like 40 bucks, not spend like eight dollars individually for each pen. And then my last print that I got was um, Black Butler with C. Allen Sebastian. This absolutely beautiful prints. I love these artists. I'll make sure to look into these. They have the names on these bottom right here. One says Wolf. And then the other says Tyrin Carva? Carvu? I don't know, but yeah. So I got like eight of those. Those cost me. The first one, the first set of four cost me $40. And then the guy said you can come back, and each of them are like $5. And then the second set only cost me like 20 to another guy and got two of these that look like cards. I got this one that is Markiplier and Jack. And then I don't know what this guy's name is but he did sign it. So Markiplier's up top and then Jack's on the bottom like a card that, which is kind of cool. So here I'll do it this way because then you can see it a little bit better. Isn't that cool? That was really cool. That guy was really cool. And then I got another one, which was Harley Quinn in um, Poison Ivy. It's like so many people have such interesting styles and like um, abilities to do with art. And then, like a um, couple. So I went to. Um, oh, what is this site? I'll make sure to put the link down below because I have it saved on my laptop. Um, Oh, what was these people called? Uh, I don't know, but they had like really funny underwear I was hoping to get. It was like, it was called period underwear and they had like all these individual underwears with like blood and then it had one that was like the shining and they had like this really cool design on it with like, th there was like blood on the, like, you know, blood on the front and then on the back has the words and saying, um, and Rob on the back of the panties. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cute. I wish I got a pair, but I do have the, um, the link to these people saved down on my laptop which I'll put the link in the description box below. They also had more t-shirts. They had a Doctor Who one, a Harry Potter one, and I chose the um, X-Files one because I love X-Files. I feel like I've got too big of a size. This is a, a large. 
So I should have probably gone maybe like a medium or a small. Because this is really huge. But I'll still wear it. I can't wear it now because it's hot out and it, this is a black thick shirt. This is really nice quality. Um, I think I spent $25 on this, which is a good which is um, a good price for this shirt. It has, uh, you know, pop cultural in it. That is, it has a pop cultural item that I like, which is X-Files. And also it's a thick shirt. And it's really not super soft, but it's nice cotton. So, yeah. So, there's that. And the last two items, I'm thinking... Let me pick that up because I might step on it later. I'm thinking, I felt like I bought something else. Like I bought a couple more things. Or else is like all I bought because I also, I did go shopping um, at the mall, which I did also do a video for the stuff that I bought. But I don't, no. I don't know. I must be like, I, I don't think about anything else because I felt like I bought more, but I mostly bought prints. But yeah. So, then the last stop I went to, and then the last stop that I got that I saved a lot for last, is I went to the Pokey Stop, and I believe it was called um, Octavio. I have a picture of it Octavio Toys, and they had a bunch of Pokemon plushes. So, yeah. And also, I'll put the link down below, box below for that site as well. And they had a bunch of toys, like a uh, bunch of toys. They had a bunch of Pokemon plushies. Pokemon plushies, like I've never seen before, and they're the good quality ones too. Like not the ones that are like by American brand. These are like the ones that are from Japan. And so, when I first stopped by, like I totally, I totally missed it. Oh, I just remembered. Um, I I just remembered what else I got at um. I, have Funk I got a couple of Funko Pops, but I did those um, Funko Pops in a series reveal, so I'll put those down in the description box below. I got, I believe, I got, I got a couple of Twilight Funko Pops, and then I got a couple of, and then I got, to no, I didn't get Toga, I got Ken Kaneki Funko Pop. But yeah, those are in separate videos, so I'll make sure to put those in the link, on uh, the link in the description box down below. So I went to the, I barely, I almost missed her until like I was just kind of like wandering around by, my own, by myself when uh, my friends were doing their thing. And so I stopped by and I saw, oh, she had Pokemon plushes, especially like the Pokemon plushes, like some Pokemon plushes that like I've never seen before. And then I saw this guy. I saw Suicune. I'm like, oh, it's a Suicune. And she's like, I think that's my last one. I'm like, I'm going to buy it. I don't care how much it is. Just give it to me. And he cost me about like $35. I'm like, I was like so excited. And so yeah, he's really nicely made and nicely sewn. Um, these are the ones that, these are not like the cheap American one made. Just saying. These are the ones that are from like Japan. Like if you were to go to Japan and go to like, a, like an actual Pokemon store, these will be there. But yeah. And he's super soft. And this like, he's really well sewn and everything. He's really nice. So there he is. I want to say he's about 12 inches across and then like 8 inches high from it. I guess I'd say he stands up all by himself pretty good. And he has and he has like nice stitching on his eyes. Um he's sewn really really well. He's really nice and he's so soft. He's still pretty soft too since I've had him since February, but yeah. I feel like the time when I like get one of those like get plushies that are like have like that super soft material. I feel like after a while when you have it, it just like starts to um, lose that softness to it. But yeah. And then on the last day before we left, we went back to the Pokey Stop, and I got a Poliwog. It's a Poliwog, right? I always get confused between Poliwog and Poly uh, Poly Poliwog and Poly World. But yeah, I got a Poliwog because he's so cute. I was like, oh, I gotta, it's gonna get him. I think it was between him. And then another one. I don't remember what the, which one it was. I think it was a Blastoise. I think I wish I got the Blastoise because I can't find the Blastoise on her site. Also, for some reason, she doesn't have Suicune on her site. She might have checked her site out for a while, but like she has some of them on there, and there's some of them like I saw at Con at the Con that she didn't have on there for some reason. But yeah, so then I got a Poliwog. I think he also cost yeah he also cost thirty five dollars. Isn't he so cute? 
and they're so and they're very well made um i'm very satisfied by them and um like i said i'll put the link down in the description box below and she has like a lot of them that like a lot of like pokemon like i want plushes up because like a lot of time like you see like you know the classics ones like bulbasaur charmander um squirtle pikachu um the evolution of charmander um what's it called uh and then like sometimes like the miniature like the bigger versions but like they're smaller a little bit like um charizard and things like that and i'm like mm. but yeah um oh yeah i've never she had um it was um tor the uh the third evolution of torchic mm -hmm. Someone's trying to contact me. Ow. My phone was vibrating. I'm like, who's calling me? And I'm like, oh, it's this like Facebook Messenger and stuff like that. So there he is. I've been thinking about maybe for like MoriCon that I'll do maybe like a um, water, um, water, uh, water trainer Pokemon cosplay where and have him and carry him around and stuff like that. He's so adorable and super soft. And he's just, it's just fun to hug. Like. He, I hugged I, I, I hugged him and hold him the entire way back home from con when I was like this so like so like I don't want to go home I want to stay at con and dress up every day that would probably be my dream come true endless con it's going to a con like, every day that would be great probably would like be in debt because like cons really take a lot of money out of you but yeah so there he is he's pretty big he's really like packed full of stuffing but he's really nice and cute looking so yeah and yeah i think that's all my stuffed animals and so i'll make sure to put this in my other play um, in my playlist for um con hauls i am also going into a another con soon i am going to anime pdx which is in portland um so yeah and i'll do probably a con haul and then i got this brand new camera if you guys haven't noticed um which i'll try to do logs i always say that and apologize it's just sometimes hard to vlog stuff because it's like, what exactly am I supposed to vlog? Because it's there's a lot of like, you know, panels and a lot of time people don't like you recording them during panels. And then there's like when you go to bigger cons, like Wizard World, they're like, oh, we can't have flash photography, things like that. And a lot of time, like when you go to artist, like into Artist Alley, a lot of people are like, don't take a picture of my art, don't film my art, and things like that. And it's like, it'll like, it'll like bumps in the road versus like trying to make vlogs at cons. But I'll try to make some um, vlogs when I go to um, Portland for Anime PDX, which is in July. It's in July from the 21st to the 23rd. Let me check. For like the longest time, like for like the longest time, I thought it was like like from the 28th to the 31st for some reason. Let me check my calendar. Yeah, it's from the 28th to the 30th. No, I mean the 21st from the 23rd so from Friday to Sunday so I'll try to um, do some vlogs for that also I'm gonna be doing some cosplay unboxing so I have to get all my cosplay I basically spent all my money today on like comic books and like these Toki Doki um, new series um, plushy things that they have and I'm like I gotta buy cosplay uh, oh well, I know my money now so yeah I have like a little bit of money, so I'm gonna get one thing, and then I'm gonna try to get all my cosplay next month, which I'll do unboxings on this channel. So yeah, but that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Drop a like, subscribe. Sorry for my voice it's starting to like dry up and crack, but yeah, I'll see you guys next video. And today's your birthday. Happy birthday, and have a wonderful rest of your day. And welcome summer, everybody. We're finally out of the cold season. Yay, summer! Now it's time for the boiling season. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, yeah.